wanted to explain why real estate agents are not incentivized to get you the best price for your house. And I know a lot of people are going to get upset about this statement, but I made a comment recently on a, another YouTube video talking about real estate. There's a couple of YouTubers I follow with regard to real estate. They've got excellent um, videos. And I made a comment about the fact that when they were talking about realtors and now because of the settlement with the Association of Realtors, the percentages can change in the way in which uh, realtors are going to be uh, paid for their services. So what I wanted to point out, I just want to make this one point, is why they're not actually incentivized. And the reason I want to point this out is because if you're trying to get out of debt or just create a better financial future for yourself, when you're selling your house, you obviously want the best possible price. Now, there's all sorts of market conditions when things are going well or things are going not well in the economy. And of course, if someone's coming and it's the type of market where people are throwing out a lot of bids and the realtor's just collecting bids, you might get the highest price. But let's just say in a standard market, let me show you how that commission works, the 3% that you're going to pay the realtor who's selling your home and why ultimately they're not incentivized necessarily to get you the best price. Let me give you an example because I had to go through this myself when I sold one of my homes. Let's say in this example that the cops in your neighborhood thousand different homes in the neighborhood, or let's say a thousand homes in the neighborhood, all fairly similar. Beds, bath, the yard, all that stuff. Comps are close, about $500,000, and recently they've been selling for $500,000. You get an offer on your house, realtor puts it on the market, three days you get an offer for $490,000. So the realtor says, hey, great offer, think you should take it. And you're thinking, well, but everyone else is getting 500. And let's say you don't have problems with the house and all that. You should, you believe wholeheartedly you should also get 500. Well, okay, here's where the realtor and you differ. Now, this offer came in three days. What does this offer mean for you? $490,000 minus all the fees and what you have to pay off on the mortgage, if anything, and you'll have your net profit. But if you could get 500, that's another $10,000 to you. Okay. So the realtor is going to get 3% of that price. That's $14,700. They're very happy. They made that in three days. You say, I want another $10,000, right? Because everyone else is getting it. Why shouldn't I? What does that mean for the realtor? Another $10,000 would mean 3% of this 10,000. And that's $300. Now, Oftentimes, when you're trying to get market rate or above, in other words, if you're selling something much cheaper, if you sold your $500,000 house and you put it on the market for $450,000, you might get offers really fast and it's gone. Of course, because you're selling it too cheap. If you want to get market or above, well, that's going to take a little more work. It might take a little longer. You might have to do more open houses. So let's say, for sake of argument, that in order for you to get that extra $10,000, the realtor would have to work for another 30 days. They would have to do an open house every weekend. They would have to do showings. They would have to put in a lot more time over the next 30 days. Is it worth it to you? Sure. You're going to get $10,000 more. That's in your pocket. For you, great. What is it for them? It's $300. So they are going to work for three days in this example and get their $14,700. Or they could work for 33 days and get 14.7 plus 3, 15,000. Well, opportunity cost would say they just want to get that 14.7. So they're going to say, just take it. Great offer. Buyer's good. They can do it. We're going to close quickly. You're going to get your 490. And then they'll take their 14.7. They'll take off. They'll grab another home and they'll list it. Because what would they rather do in the next 30 days? Work hard to make another $300 or list another house and hopefully in 30 days make another $14,700. I think you can see that for a realtor to turn over homes fast and make the best use of their time, they want to sell every house just under market, right? Because a realtor should say, well, gosh, I want these things to all sell in three days. Because then I can make every three days 
my 14.7. But what if I sold at market? Every 30 days, I'd make 15,000. Okay, this isn't going to happen. They're not going to sell a house every three days, but you get the point. If you can quickly sell under market, you do it and you move on to the next one. That's what realtors do. Not all of them, but that's what they would be incentivized to do. But you want that extra 10,000. I hope that makes sense. Please leave comments below. I know people are going to get mad at this. This is just basic math and economic opportunity cost. If you can sell things quickly in our market, that's what they're going to want to do and they're going to want to move on. But you want that extra 10000 So are they really incentivized? What do you think? I think it's obvious they're not incentivized to get you the market or better price. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. On the channel, I want everyone to get out of debt and get the best future and the most they can, particularly when you're selling your assets. Thanks for watching.